Hello friends, welcome to my channel Biology with Agun Singh. Today we are going to discuss on a topic the pure culture techniques for the growth of microorganisms. So let's get started with the topic. Topic: The pure culture techniques are divided in three parts. Um, that means the three types of pure culture techniques are there. So before starting these techniques, we just have to isolate a pure culture of bacteria from a mixed culture. The we, because we can't get a pure culture from anyhow from any sample the, such like uh, we can when we take the soil it is not also a pure culture of microbes as an example we can take a milk sample it also contain a mixed culture of bacteria so for isolating uh, the bacteria from a mixed culture firstly we have to grow a sample uh, firstly we have to need a growing sample which contains a mixed culture of bacteria so just like that uh, we have a petri plate which contains uh, different colonies of bacteria such like that uh, these are the colonies of bacteria which I am uh, showing with the different marker pens so we just have to put uh, 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 we just have to put out a single colony of bacteria we just needed a single colony of bacteria. these all colors represent the different colonies of bacteria so suppose we just needed this green one so we what we do we just uh, put it up with the help of inoculum inoculating loop um, um, take the loop and uh, stick a uh, colony of uh, this greenish bacteria and uh, then after it we just inoculate it in a test tube which contains a neutron broth uh, which is uh, autoclaved uh, before the use uh, and we inoculate this sample of bacteria in this test tube and uh, after that we will um, incubate it uh, at 37 degrees celsius for one day that means 24 to 48 hours so growth of uh, bacteria after 24 to 48 hours we uh, need the sample for the different uh, techniques uh, the different pure culture techniques which are three the first technique is the pore plate method which is a most simplest technique and the second one is that the spread plate method the third technique is the streaking plate method in which we are going to discuss about these three techniques in detail in which we are taking this culture this broth culture as a medium of serial dilution which contains the pure culture of bacteria the first method is the pore plate method in which uh, uh, a microbial sample is taken which is uh, 10 times diluted means that it is minus 10 uh, diluted and uh, a sterile petri plate in which we pour the one to one or two ml of the microbial sample uh, before the pouring of agar on agar nutrient agar solution on it uh, the nutrient agar solution is autoclaved before use and cooled up to 50 degrees celsius this is the most important point about the pore plate method is that the agar should not to be too hot because if it's too hot then it kills the microbial sample or microorganisms present in the sample so it is it should be 50 degrees celsius so after putting the agar in in with the one or two ml of the microbial sample we just shake it just like that uh, just like that and incubate at 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 48 hours for getting the microbial culture growth this is all about what the pore plate method is the pore plate method what basically we do is that we needed a nutrient agar solution which is autoclaved under 15 psi at 121 degrees celsius for 15 minutes and a petri plates also which is uh, autoclaved we just have to pour out 15 to 20 ml of uh, nutrient agar solution on the petri plate and left it for solidification and after the solidification we just have to inoculate some uh, microbial culture which is 10 times diluted um, 
in on the solidified agar media uh, with the help of uh, micro pipette and spread it with a l shape spreader which is of uh, metal which is of plastic or a, a glass rod which is also sterilized if uh, sterilized if it uh, glass or a metal l spreader then uh, it is sterilized by the heat uh, heat uh, which is uh, by making uh, making it uh, red hot uh, after the spreading um, the culture is incubated at 37 degrees celsius for 24 to 48 hours and after that we will get the growth of the bacteria which we uh, which we required for the pure culture now come to the third method that is the streak plate method in a streak plate method what basically we do is that the same procedure procedure until the the solidification of agar that is uh, take the nutrient agar solution and uh, sterilize sterilized petri plate pour the 15 to 20 ml of uh, nutrient agar solution on the petri plate and uh, wait until the solidification of the nutrient agar and after that the step changes that is we have to take a new instrument that is the inoculum loop uh, with the help of inoculum loop we just have to draw out a zigzag line with the help of the microbial sample before using the inoculum loop we just have to uh, red hot it uh, means that uh, heat fixing until the red hot uh, red hot of the inoculum loop so that it is it has been to be sterilized so uh, after sterilization we just have to put a uh, the inoculum loop in the culture sample which is 10 time diluted again and uh, streak on the plate in the zigzag manner the zigzagness is the streaking what the uh, streaking is the zigzag manner in which we spread the culture with the help of inoculum loop uh, this is the best method using nowadays for the pure culture techniques um the mm, there is no major difference as we can summarize that uh, in between the pour plate uh, spread plate and the streaking method in pour plate method there are uh, different type of uh, structural colonies found in a pure culture and in a spread plate method there is a lawn culture of bacteria that are growing on the surface of the nutrient agar and in a streak plate method there is a um, when we start the a loop from this side there is a dense growth of bacteria in this side and there is a less growth of bacteria in this side so these uh, three methods are differentiating so this is all about the pure culture techniques of microorganism if you like the video give such a thumbs up and if you have any doubt in your mind then ask in the comment box subscribe the channel for more interesting videos thank you so much